obviously we got we got a look going on today. Hey yo. And um, we're gonna see if it can last the snow the snowy cold weather that I have to endure. I don't have to endure, but I'm choosing to endure it. <laughs> I'll be okay and I'll be safe. But I more just want to know if like this will hold up. I have um, like eyeshadow primer on, so the eyeshadow should stay on, and I put the eyeliner over the eyeshadow. But I don't have any setting spray or anything like that, so we shall see. Um, I use liquid eyeliner, the works. I don't usually go this big, I don't usually do wings at all, because I usually mess up. So, it actually looks pretty good. I'm actually very impressed with myself that these look close to identical. So yay me! I didn't do wings for a while and I was afraid to try because, and this person didn't know that like, they did not know that what they said to me was probably going to cause me to be a little insecure, which would be that I have hooded um, eyelids because I was trying to ask advice because they did, they knew like makeup stuff. You know, I just wanted advice on wings because I don't usually do wings and I mean, I don't, I don't like usually do much besides um, eyeliner and mascara, but uh, this person just told me that's probably because I have hooded eyelids that that's why it doesn't work. And so I thought because of something I have no control over of how I like look, um, I can't do this pretty much is what it felt like. And it really, I'm sure they didn't mean to hurt my feelings. Um, and if they did, like fine. But like doesn't mean I have to like allow it to happen. Um, but we're gonna see. I mean, I can do wings and still have my same eyelids. So I don't know. You be the judge, I guess. Update. Update. Um, still doing good. We'll see how far this gets me. I've never done this. I don't even know how much, well, how long this took me to do. To be quite frank. But I was cleaning the cat boxes earlier and like I was sweating a little bit because I'm a sweaty lady. Okay, so as you can see, we're still working, we're still going. I think this smudged a little bit because I, um, it just felt very stiff to me. Like it was like holding together like my eyelid more than it should be, but. So I thought I was just gonna go to one store, but I guess I have to go to two, um, because this store doesn't have any coffee creamer that I like. So, that awkward moment when you want, you asking a cashier to like break a bill for you and then you're like, oh, I don't want to mess up your till. Even though I've never cashiered a day in my life. I mean, if you count like selling 99 cent ice cream cones, that's pretty much all it was. One time someone tried to sell, or tried not to sell, but to buy a 99 cent ice cream cone with money on their phone card. Like, people would pay in, like, change for a 99 cent ice cream cone, and I'm just like, oh my gosh. I didn't last very long at that place. Not because of me, but because of suggestive selling in the high demand to get every customer every time, and I thought it was stupid. We're gonna work on office today. See, it's kind of hard, because I want to do office stuff, and then I have to take a break and probably play some more Animal Crossing, because I only have only decorated one house, and I'm pretty sure it's the same house they have you decorate in a uh, happy home designer for the nintendo ds i'm um, sorry nintendo 3ds even though i have both but the game is only for the 3ds and uh yeah so what we're gonna do is work on the office some more probably no probably go home have some kind of lunch and then uh, i have to work on dishes and fold laundry and then work on the office that's what I gotta do. And then at some point in there, take a break. So wait, what did I look like? Ooh. What did I look like? I want to know what, I just wanna know what I look like to the cashier. Yeah, it's so got my little bear hat. Oh no! My little bear hat's coming apart. I think I look pretty normal actually. For as much effort as this takes, I don't know, it'd have to be really worth it, or I'd have to be like really dedicated that day, but I actually messed it up once already when I was in the bathroom because I like 
just, I had an itch and I was like, oh, and I was like, oh, my makeup. That's the only thing that I think would get me is just the worry of messing it up. Why are we honking? Yeah, dude, actually, I felt like I was in everyone's way in that store because I was just like, um, doing my thing. And then they'd be like, it's a small store, to be fair. But, like, I'm really glad. I usually wear my earbuds into stores. So the next one I go to is much bigger. So I'm probably going to wear my earbuds in that one because no one does, cares. But this one, uh, uh, I think I scared everybody because they didn't know I was in my car yet. Yeah. Um, the store was giving away N95 masks for, I think, free? I was reading the sign, but the guy wasn't at the table when I read about them. Or the guy that was handing them out, I just kind of read it, and they said that everyone deserves them. And each person that, you know, lives in the United States should have one. So I grabbed one, like, that they're better, but, like, they're so expensive, and I'm not going to, like, take them away from people, like, who, not that we don't actually need them, but, like, we have, like, cloth masks and disposable masks, at least. Like, we have a lot of those. Um, so, I'm not super, I'm waiting for my glasses so I can see again. But, I don't know, I, I feel, I always feel like there's people that could use them more than us. The eyeliner seems to be staying on okay. Oh, that one kind of came out. To be fair, there was snowflakes hitting me in the face. But they had poonchkis and I couldn't contain myself. I'm Polish. I gotta represent. And then, um, also, they had Jones Soda. And I really, really gotta, like, tell about the Jones Soda. Because I feel like Jones Soda is a story that I have yet to share with the world. Also, I was looking at more protein shake powder. And that stuff's expensive. I was like, oh my gosh. And then it was like looking up online and they're like, oh, it could, you shouldn't have it with milk. But I'm like, it tastes so much better with milk. And they're like, oh, but have it with water. Oh, but if you have it with breakfast, it's good for you because then you get more nutrients in your regular diet. And I'm like, wait a minute. I am overwhelmed and I'm not going to pay over $20 for protein powder that I don't even know if it tastes good or not. So as you can see, it stayed on, get more or less. I don't know what that was, but it stayed on. So me and my hooded eyes are doing <laughs> just fine. Oh. Hmm. 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 Like you can see some smudging, but it's really not bad at all. So I'm glad I did this. I don't know when I'll ever be able to do wings ever again in like where they look super similar. This has never happened before. This would happen in like 90 degree weather. I mean, I wouldn't wear this 90 degree weather. Mm, 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 mm. Serving looks. Wondering what kind of eyeliner I use, I can tell you in a second. I used the Neutrogena Precision Liquid Eyeliner. I will try to remember to switch this around in the editing world. Any minute now. Okay. Don't wear wool socks to the grocery store because your feet will sweat. And it just will be gross. No, regardless. Regardless if you put baking uh, soda in your shoes. It's just unpleasant. I wear this shirt a lot, but it's mostly because I just like to be comfy. So this is the mug for today. It says, a house is not a home without paw prints. I got it for my birthday from one of my uh, relatives uh, in 2020. 
we had like a little like safe gathering like social distance gathering in like their backyard and they gave me this and a little sign that says meow but it's funny because the m and the o are black and then the e and the w are silver so then like at first glance you just read ew we're gonna go get the cats some food we gotta get a special kind of food because kit kat uh he gained a lot of weight according to the vet <laughs> so we have to get um we have to get a special kind and we don't want both cats to um you know have a weight problem so we figured why not just have both of them um have the same food So we just got out of the pet store. It was super cute. Those two brothers were so adorable. There was like a little live cricket on um, on one of them, or on the floor. And it was so cute because they were just intensely watching them. And then I talked to the cashier for a little bit. The cashier has two cats that are the exact same. And um, one of them is named Draco. And I was like, from like Harry Potter, right? And she was like, is he any other way? And I was like, yeah. And so we were talking about that. And she was so, oh, it was so cute. And then a customer came up behind me, and like I already was done, but then like she still kept talking to me, so I was like, all right, cool, chill. I was like, thanks for showing me a picture of your cats. Like, oh, so cute. Oh, so cute. Cat moms unite, guys. So, I got it. It, I had, they said, so brown sugar oat milk latte, and then I asked if it was already sweet, and they said that it's pretty sweet, and I was like, anything to make it sweeter? And uh, she was like, yeah, white mocha. So she had two pumps of that. Okay, that's actually pretty great. So I feel like I had the flavor down, but it wasn't as sweet when I made it. All right, how do I leave? Oh, Cause the car's not on! Oh, that's embarrassing. Oh. All right. So I just got home. And we are, I just learned that this has three <laughs> espresso shots in it. So we are definitely going to work on the office today. But, um, I usually get the iced white chocolate mocha, which has three. And then I learned the venti, this has five. So, the more you know. Hmm. Hello. Oh, I felt, so I felt really silly. So what I wore today, well, I wore like a coat and all that, but I didn't wear a beanie. I completely forgot about a beanie. So I'm like freezing cold. I had to get gas. So I went to a gas station and I also forgot that I was wearing um, just like slip-ons and ankle socks. And so my ankles are just like freezing. I'm just like there like, oh my gosh, it's so cold. And I could put my hood on, but I didn't because I'm a fool. Um, so, I don't remember the last thing I did, but, um, or the last thing I talked about, but basically, um, I put away clothes, laundry, and all that, and then, um, we had our friend come over, and we all played Mario Party, and we ordered Chinese food, it was quite fun. Yeah, so... There's that. Now tomorrow I get to help another friend, I get to be with another friend, so that'd be cool. I'm like looking forward to that. And yeah, so tomorrow's probably gonna be a good day. It just kept snowing today. It was like ridiculous. So, it's really late, so I didn't really need to go to bed. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to trying out stuff. Um, I'm gonna try this place called Nutrition Ninja. So, yeah, they're supposed to have these things called tea bombs and I'll see if I like it or not. Um, unfortunately the cramps have kicked in. So I have a delivery. Thank you, Rufus. 
he brings a little bluebird and delivers it to us because that's like our food. It's too early to wear pants, in my opinion. Hey! So this week hasn't really been a great like week. I just haven't really felt well. Um, I tried the Starbucks oat milk brown sugar latte, but in like a venti size. And I forgot to add um, the equivalent pumps of um, white mocha. I got to see one of my friends because we went through his work and that was a fun little surprise when you surprise your friends at work and they don't even know you're coming. Um, I also got to break the barrier of changing my first poopy diaper and apparently it was like a really bad one so that was fun. I'm actually probably finishing up, it's called Getting Curious with Jonathan Van Ness and I like love him because he's from Queer Eye and I absolutely adore him. But yeah, it's it's interesting. They even have one about um, gender, or not, sorry, not gender, non-binary and I was just like, that's interesting. And it was just really funny. They did like this whole thing in the beginning of the episode that I thought was pretty nice. Okay, for some reason it took a while to set up my phone for this, I don't get it. Anyways, I want to show you the books I got, because I went back, and it was lovely, lovely. So I got a book that says you're super different, or you're different, and that's super, and I thought it had a very nice message on it. Whoops, oh, dropped it, dropped it. And then I got two of these. I'm going to find someone that, like, appreciates Steven Universe. But it's, it has such beautiful artwork. Look at the illustrations. So I was just very excited about this because I love Ruby and Sapphire. I was actually going to cosplay Ruby and then my fiance was going to cosplay Sapphire. So um, this is also called Working Mummies. Are we even surprised? No, we're not. Um, basically it's about like moms and they work and I was like what a good concept, you know? So I thought it was lovely. And I have no idea what this is about, but it had a witch and it had a girl made of cake, and I thought it was the best. And it's called Cake Girl. And I was like, what a nice, I don't know, just, I just loved it. <laughs> Spoke to me. Um, let's see here. Some of these I just picked because the characters had funny expressions on them. And I do look at the illustrations and I try to look at what it's about. The skeleton pirate, I thought was funny because like, look at this face. I just thought it was great. It was magnificent. It was lovely. And then I got, look at this. Eh, eh, there. Look at that face. It gave me, it sent me like Domo vibes, even though I never really was into Domo. But like, look at him. Narbunga. So cute. So yeah, I don't know. I just think it's great. And then, um, this looks fantastic. It reminded me of a dog I know in my life. And I was like, you know, I think I'm going to get this. And it did remind me of the Stella Luna. I've never, I don't remember. I feel like I have read it or I was, it was read to me. But Stella Luna with the bat. So, yeah. Fantastic. And then, I thought this was cute. It's about gardening. And I thought of my mom immediately. But I like how it's called Gabby's If Slash Then Garden. You could have a forward slash in the title. <laughs> then Garden. It's just about her talking about, like, gardening. Oh, wait. Hold on. Gabby's garden needs some help. Where to begin? Coding, of course. Gabby and... Oh, maybe the forward slash is intentional. I didn't read the back. Um, Gabby and Addie use if... And you, oh, use if then statements to decide what to plant, what to water, and what to pick. They even play an if and if... Then game. At least I knew thinkers get computer coding concepts to get chores done with fun. I thought it was about gardening. Is it not? It's fine. <laughs> I guess I just saw a garden and I thought it made some... I do have a comic book review thing on Instagram called Christy Chew Comics that I can... I'm probably going to link it below. And then I also have a Snacks for Days blog that links to my blog. That's just about whatever I feel like writing about. And then um, I also do like little reviews and just snacks that have come into my life. And then um, I also have one for my cats. K 
Kit Kat and Rufus, uh, they have their own Instagram and it's literally just called Kit Kat and Rufus. Enjoying these vlogs, like be sure to let me know. Be sure to like leave a comment or subscribe or like it or give me any kind of suggestions that like you would, just stuff you want to know pretty much. day um it was just a lot of like just weird I was so tired today it was, I was just very just lethargic and tired and kind of grumpy um but yeah but I had D&D &D tonight which went pretty good uh we kicked butt I I actually didn't like I wasn't a huge talkative mood uh today <laughs>